Guess what day it is? Huh? Anybody? It's Wednesday. I love that commercial. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Luis here. Hope you're all having a wonderful morning. And uh, we are halfway through the week, right? It's almost a thirsty Thursday. The things that I look forward to. <laughs> so where are mortgage interest rates today? Well, let's quickly break it down and run a life scenario. But first, <laughs> let's quickly look at the technicals. Today, the 10-year yield is down about one basis point to for actually it just changed on me. It's 4.04. So there is absolutely no change. Yesterday it was at 4.04. 04, so no change. The 30 year 5.5% bond is up about 10 basis points to 98.86, 98 point, look, it just changed on me, 98.8. These values are constantly changing. So we're only down about eight basis points, which is little or no change. Remember, the lower the 10 year yield and the higher the 30 year bond, the better it is for mortgage rates or the more gooder. I forgot to say more gooder yesterday and uh, I got called out for it. Translation, to date, there is no notable change in the markets, but things are still super volatile and it definitely feels Feels like the calm before the storm. Today at 2 p.m. Eastern time, the feds will announce the decision to increase the rate or not. I have to add that Congress is putting a little bit of pressure on the Federal Reserve to lower the rates before the job market suffers. So we shall see what happens today at 2 p.m. Eastern. In the meantime, let's price out a loan scenario to see the effects of all of this, which in theory, Again, there should be absolutely no change, but let's see. This week, we are looking at a conventional loan program with uh, only 5% down or 95% LTV. But if you need a quote for an FHA loan or a VA loan scenario, please DM me. Remember, these are all to the minute and are subject to change with the market, as you saw just a minute ago. So this is a $500,000 purchase with 5% down. The FICO score is 740 and it's a single family residence and it's owner occupied. So let's take a look at what we have. It looks like we have a 7.125% interest rate with a small $285 uh, credit that can be used towards your closing costs. Now the APR is 7.432 and uh, which is pretty much the same rate as yesterday. But yesterday there was a $332 credit. Today there is a $285 credit. So what we call that is a micro improvement. And for compliance reasons, let me make sure that the fees imported correctly. So here we have a 7.125, uh, 7.432 APR, and we have a lender credit down here of $284.50. So yeah, it all looks good. And let me know if you need me to send this your way. Uh, or you can also visit www.prequalifywithluis.com. Remember, it never hurts to get a second opinion. It's free, zero cost, as in free 99. So you have absolutely nothing to lose. And as always, I'm not going to suggest that you lock or not lock today because every situation is different. But I will say, and you've heard me all week and last week, as the rates go down, the competition will increase. So jump into your home before the rates drop and all the buyers rush back into the market and drive the prices up. I can't stress this enough, especially with the FHFA's announcement that they're gonna reduce the fees for first-time home buyers for loans that go to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. This reduction means lower prices and uh, they're also going to increase the fees for cash out refinance. This is an attempt to keep investors away and allow for first time home buyers to achieve the dream of home ownership. That is all I have for today. Enjoy your Wednesday and I will update you on the Fed's decision on tomorrow's video. I will talk to all of you tomorrow. Bye now.